Can we truly say we've moved past the chains of our history when the echoes of slavery still ring in our ears? In recent times, a video surfaced, sparking intense debate and drawing the world's attention to the underbelly of race relations. This video, no less than a modern-day horror story, depicted an African worker subjected to physical assault by a Chinese manager. A grim reminder that the specter of racism still haunts our society, lurking in the shadows. This incident didn't occur in a vacuum. It forms part of a pattern of behavior that's been reported in the past. African workers far from their homes, facing mistreatment at the hands of their Chinese project managers. The victims, often voiceless, bear the brunt of these injustices, their plight overlooked in the grand scheme of international commerce. The video didn't merely spark outrage, it ignited a global conversation. Social media platforms buzzed with discussions on racism and human rights abuses. The world began to take notice, to question, to challenge. The incident served as a mirror, reflecting the harsh reality of our society, forcing us to confront the racism that still exists, often hidden away from the public eye. But this incident didn't just end with conversations. It led to concrete action. Similar cases in Rwanda and Kenya had previously resulted in legal action against Chinese individuals. Prompted by these events, the Chinese embassy found itself compelled to issue warnings to its citizens in Africa. What's more, these incidents have begun to shine a light on China's trade partnerships with African nations. The world is starting to question whether the benefits of these partnerships outweigh their human cost. So what have we learned today? We've delved into the disturbing incident of an African worker beaten by a Chinese manager. We've explored the wider pattern of mistreatment of African workers by Chinese project managers. We've observed the global conversation this incident sparked on racism and human rights abuses. We've seen the concrete action taken in Rwanda and Kenya, leading to the Chinese embassy issuing warnings. And finally, we've examined the scrutiny now being placed on China's trade partnerships with African nations. The fight against racism isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a long, arduous journey that requires constant vigilance and persistence. But remember, every step we take brings us closer to a world where dignity and respect aren't determined by the color of one's skin. As we move forward, let us strive to make that world a reality.